Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're talking about my one week, one palette that I did for this past week with my Pen That Palette for 2018, the Marc Jacobs Style Icon in Lolita. I did use just this one palette for the last whole week, and I did film all the looks that I did with this. So before we jump into this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like Pen That Palettes, if you like reviews, if you like the rest of my content. And if you're not already, I hope you consider subscribing and hitting that little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. I just got home from work and I walked home from the train station and I'm pretty sure I just sweated off my life. Just I literally came home and then just sat in front of the air conditioning like I have a little window unit right here for like a good 10 minutes and just chugged some water because I Jesus it doesn't help that I'm always like I can't wear shorts at work and I don't like wearing dresses on the train just a personal thing so I'm always wearing pants so I had pants and I had a black shirt like I'm just Good decisions were not made. So anyway, back to the palette. So my one goal for my Pan That Palette for the month of August was to do a one week one palette and I'm very proud of myself that I actually did it. So I use this one palette every morning for the past week, Monday through Friday during my work week. Normally I switch up and I use a different palette every day. I do wake up fairly early for work and I do block myself a little bit of time not a little bit of time, a good amount of time every morning in order to do my makeup because it's like my me time, it's my calming time. I have my coffee, I just, I spread everything out on my vanity, I like to look through my collection. It's like my me time and I love it. So for the past week, I thought it would be a little bit quicker doing my makeup since that's like, okay, well you can only choose one palette so you just gotta go right to it. It took me the same amount of time. I'm realizing that I think my routine is so set that no matter what I'm doing, I'm gonna take the same amount of time to do my makeup. But in addition to it being the same amount of time, I thought it would just be like easier, like I could go on autopilot, but I didn't go on autopilot, like surprisingly. Like I just was looking at my palette differently, which is what I really, really needed. So before I talk more about this, let's go ahead and jump into just a quick montage of the five days. I think I did like a little intro and talk during the first look, but then the rest are just going to be like montage set to music and sped up a little bit. So here we go. Let's jump into day one. So I'm just going to talk through as I throw my eyeshadow primer on. I'm going to be using my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre for my primer. And then I'm going to be setting it since I've used up the entire like setting shade in the palette. I'm going to be using my face powder from ColourPop to set the rest of my eye. So day one is a bit of an odd one for me because I'm actually only doing a half day of work today. I've already finished it right now. What time is it? It's like 1.30, almost 2 o'clock. And I did like my base makeup this morning and I didn't touch my eyes because I had to jump onto like a call. And when I have like business calls, um, they're always over like Google Hangouts. So it's always like a video call. So I just kind of have to throw a little bit on and jump in. So I worked for this whole morning and then I was done at 12. So I only had to work a half day today and I took a half day um, because we're actually, my boyfriend and I have an appointment to go look at an apartment this afternoon and I didn't want to have to worry about taking the trains to work and then getting off and then taking the trains back from work. So luckily I have a position that allows me to occasionally work from home. So I just asked for permission from my boss to do a half day and if I could do that half day from home and it was totally fine. So I am going to be going for more of kind of like a natural look, nothing too out there because I am going to be meeting theoretically like the property owner for the apartment we might be getting. Um, we're going to do a whole tour of the neighborhood of the building just to see how close it is to like that train station. We're going to do dinner out there just to like see the neighborhood. So it's going to be very exciting but I'm also like really nervous because like I've had like apartments in college, I went to dorms but I've never... Like I still live with extended family so I've never actually lived in an apartment by myself or like an actual apartment with somebody else. So it's, it's exciting. A little nervous but exciting. And this place, we've been looking at like apartments online and looking for like weeks and weeks and weeks and this is the only one that like fits all of our criteria. It's close to where I work, close to where he works, and is within our budget. So. You know what, keep your fingers crossed for us. 
Okay, so now that we're all primed, I think I'm just going to go ahead and jump in with this second shade right here, this light brown, and just start throwing that in my transition. I really want to go for like a light eye today, so I think I'm just going to take a little bit of the brown right here to kind of deepen up the outer V, and I want to go on the lower lash line with one of these metallics. I'm not sure which one yet. I think I want to take this middle one right here. Yeah, I think I want to take that on the lower lash line, but first let me just add a little bit more definition to the eye. Let's see. Okay, so I'm really liking that so far. And I really like the way that like the lid looks just without anything on it with this look. So I think I'm going to leave that there. And I really want to go onto the lower lash line. So let me take a little bit of a denser brush. And I'm going to take the second to last like shimmer shade and just start building that up on my lower lashes. I'm really liking that so far so I'm gonna go off camera and just do mascara and liner real quick and then I'll be right back all right guys and we're back and so this is day one of my one week one palette with my pan that palette I really like it it's subtle it's quick and I really like putting the shimmer on the lower lash line as I've normally been going for like more darker shades on my lower lash line I really think this just helps open up my eyes and make me look a little bit more bright a little bit more awake and then I did go for just a little bit of like a baby wing just to kind of define the eye a little bit since there wasn't a whole lot going on on the upper lid real quick I am wearing a Jeffree Star liquid lipstick today in Leo I just think this is such a nice like warm like deep nude it looks really nice with a subtle eye so i really do like this one and that's it for today so the next time i see you will be day number two how could you say this every time this is the new world you told me lightly
whatever you need, baby. I see it in your eyes, eyes all the time. We could be in Paris or in Spain, in the bathroom on a plane. Girl, I bet you that you came. You know I'ma make you, I'ma make you moan. I'ma make you moan. We could be in Sydney or Vancouver, in the backseat of an Uber. Girl, the way that I'm a new. So those are all the looks that I did this past week with my Pen That palette. I will say, of course, it's a neutral palette. They were a lot of neutral looks, a lot of really subtle looks. But I found that by focusing more on the application and less on the palette, I was actually coming up with better looking like looks. Like I got the most compliments at work, even though these were some of my most subtle looks. I really liked the cut crease that I did because like halfway through I was like what did I do like well this looks terrible but then at the very end it really all came together and it ended up being one of my favorite looks and I had not gone to a cut crease for a long time so just getting myself out of my comfort zone and experimenting more with the shapes of my looks and with the like application really helped me get out of this rut that I've been having with this palette. I was also just using different colors in different ways. Like I was afraid of using this really, really dark shade at the very end all over my lid. But in the last look, I think it was, I did do this all over the lid and just blended it out into the crease. And it was a very, very pretty look. I also found that I really enjoy using this glitter shade like as an inner corner highlight. All I have to do is pop a little bit of glitter glue and it makes a really bright blinding inner corner highlight that looks really pretty no matter like what look that I do. I also found that for this brown shade, in addition to using it for my brows, I actually like like filling in my hairline a little bit with it. Just because I had my hair up in a bun for a couple of days and I mean I, I've got plenty of hair. Like I'm not gonna go bald anytime soon. But when my hair was up in a bun there were certain spots where you could kind of like see a little bit of my scalp. And I just used a little bit of a brush just kind of put it in and I actually really liked how it turned out. So I found new ways to use my shadows, I found new shapes to do my looks, and I just, I thought going into this that I was going to be bored and I was going to go onto autopilot, but it really made me get more creative with what I already had, and I was really, really excited about that. I definitely want to do this with more palettes, like this is going to be a series, I really want to do one week, one palettes more often. I think that's gonna be an awesome way to work through the rest of my eyeshadow palette collection because I did just do a huge declutter and now I feel like I've pared it down to just what I really love and what I really enjoy and I just I just had such a good experience with this and it just it turned out so much better than I ever thought that it could have. I had fun and I learned so much. So this one week one palette did exactly what I was hoping it would do and just get me re-excited and re-motivated for my Pan That palette and I cannot wait to see how this project is gonna go for the next couple of months because I can't believe like there's only a few months left in 2018. And I'm already thinking about next year's Pan That palette and I think I'm, I'm definitely on track to my original goal which is to hit pan in every shade but I don't know, I think if I really buckle down, I might actually be able to pan this by the end of December. So thank you so much for watching. Hope if you like this video, you'll give it a thumbs up, and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.